MCAT 2017 Cram, Critical Analysis and Reasoning Skills, Flashcard Set 7.1, Disaster Risk Knowledge in Nepal. As you view the reading of this passage, you'll notice a few selections of highlighted text in the form of boldface font. What I want you to do is garner meaning from these selections in order to support your answer choice for the reasoning within the text question that follows. When it's time to answer the question, you might want to open up a second screen in order to view the passage and the question at the same time. All right? Okay. Paragraph one. Disaster risk is expressed in terms of potential loss of lives, deterioration of health status and livelihoods, and potential damage to assets and service due to the impact of existing natural hazards. Disaster risk reduction is a systematic approach to identifying, assessing, and reducing disaster risk, and it helps minimize the vulnerability of a society or community. It also prevents or mitigates the adverse effects of natural disasters, facilitating a sustainable development process. The Second World Conference on Disaster Reduction held in Kobe, Hyogo, Japan in January 2005, which adopted the Hyogo Framework of Action, HFA 2005 to 2015, building the resilience of nations and communities to disasters. It has provided a unique opportunity to promote strategic and systematic approach to reducing vulnerabilities and risks. HFA states that all countries must be knowledge, must use knowledge, innovation, and education to build a culture of safety and resilience at all levels. Moreover, it suggests that disasters can be reduced substantially if people are well informed and motivated about <clears throat> measures they can take to reduce vulnerability. Poverty drives people to live in high-risk, marginal areas of mountains, river valleys. Of disasters in underdeveloped or developing countries, DRR is particularly important for sustaining the attainment of all developmental goals since it provides a safety net for the hard-earned development gains of a developing country. In Nepal, it is a great challenge to protect infrastructure and public and individual properties from fre frequent landslide, flood, and earthquake disasters. Each year, hundreds of people are killed and a large amount of public and private properties are destroyed in landslide, flood, fire, and av avalanche disasters. Each large-scale disaster sets the country back several years in terms of the development efforts. When scarce research resources such as time, energy, expertise, and funding are suddenly diverted in relief and recovery work, the overall developmental activities are delayed significantly. Paragraph 3. The disaster statistics in Nepal always motivate and justify the urgent need of DRR works in Nepal. Therefore, Nepal has also adopted HFA and so far the government of Nepal has formally adopted policies guided by DRR and implemented the DRR in its various development as well as education programs. In Nepal, the World Disaster Reduction Campaign of 2006-2007 was initiated and many programs such as school curricula for disaster risk education, community-based disaster management at the village level, disaster mitigation plans at the district level, etc. have been implemented. Similarly, raising awareness within school communities 
is a well-implemented program in the schools of Nepal. This awareness activity includes training of teachers, organizing disaster quiz competitions among schools and local youth clubs, school contests on disaster risk knowledge, campaigning for disaster safety in communities, and turning school students into catalysts and initiators in many more community-based disaster awareness activities. What is the weakness in the argument the author makes to support their conclusion about the relation of poverty to disasters? Is it A, the author fails to explain how people are affected by disasters? Is it B, the author assumes that the situation in Nepal will generalize to all underdeveloped countries? Is it C, the author fails to consider the role of poverty in causing disasters? Or is it D, this, um, the author doesn't consider the role disasters play in causing poverty? I'll give you a moment to think. Definitely press pause and open up a second window to um, peruse the passage for clues. All right, hopefully by now you've arrived at the correct answer. Well, based on the wording of this question, for sure it's a reasoning within the text question that's asking you to think about what claim the author is trying to support with a piece of evidence and whether or not this argument is flawed, okay? So if you read back through the excerpt, um, you can see that the author does not consider the issues men mentioned in answer choice A, answer choice um, C, and answer choice D, okay? Answering this question requires noticing that although all prior sentences are concerned only with Nepal, the final conclusion, um, in the final conclusion, the author makes a general statement about the causal relation between poverty and disasters for underdeveloped countries. So the author is assuming whatever is true of Nepal would generalize to other underdeveloped countries. Well, um, this is a little flawed because uh, answer choice B correctly identifies the weakness of this type of reasoning, okay? So the author is assuming that the situation in Nepal will generalize to other underdeveloped countries. And it may or may not, there are other um, extraneous factors that have to be considered, okay? All right.